Hey everyone, today we're gonna be making an awesome vegan Chinese style whole food plant-based recipe. Today we're gonna be making beef and broccoli. But of course, since vegans don't really eat beef, we're gonna be using tempeh instead, cooked in a sauce that makes it taste delicious. So let's get started. First, we're going to take our block of tempeh and we're going to slice it down the middle and then slice it into thinner strips. This is gonna allow us to be able to cook it easier and for it to be able to absorb the sauce fairly quickly because this entire recipe only cooks in about 30 minutes, which is pretty cool. Next, we're gonna prepare about two cups worth of broccoli florets. Now we're gonna head on over and heat a pan over medium high heat. And before we add our sauce, we are going to toast our tempeh in the pan to add just a nice little bit of flavor to it and help it be able to actually absorb the sauce a little bit better. Now we're gonna work on the sauce for this recipe. We're gonna need to chop up three green onions and I cut the tops off because they were kinda ugly for this video, but you can keep the tops in. The rest of the sauce ingredients are right here, and if you want to read how to put them together, I have a link to this recipe over on my blog down below. So once we mix all of those ingredients together, we're gonna mix in about one cup of water and this is because our sauce is going to reduce down and it's gonna be used to steam the broccoli and flavor the tempeh. So now that the tempeh is golden brown, we're gonna pour our sauce over the top and throw in our broccoli. We're gonna let this cook together, stirring occasionally for about five minutes. Then after that, we're going to take a lid and put it on top. We're gonna cook this under the lid for about 10 minutes or until the broccoli has gotten to the point that you really enjoy it. You're gonna wanna take the lid off and stir a little bit sometimes because the sauce does have a tendency to reduce down a lot and if you find it sticking too much to your pan, make sure to add some water to thin it out. All right, once the broccoli is cooked to your desired doneness, then the entire recipe is done. I'm definitely gonna be making this one a lot more and I think you guys will too. So I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Let me know down in the comment section if you do actually make this and always remember to love God, eat greens, and get moving. See you in the next video.